got out here on the big water today. Um, I'm fan casting flats with rocks on them, big boulders, trying to get one of these roamers to commit to this fluke. And we're waiting for the sun to get up um, and for the light to get right so we can start bed fishing because these fish don't really want to lock when the light's not right. They like it about over their head, like one, two o'clock position is really kind of optimal. Um, and until then, catching these roamers is going to be your best chance of not only catching a freaking giant, um, but just getting a fish to go on anything because as soon as you roll up on these bed fish without the sun right, they pew, and they go the other direction. So, Well, boys and girls, he's throwing that pink fluke. I'm going to be picking up that hair jerk. We're going to be casting into these roamers as he talked about. But today, today, today could be very special. Yesterday was really cool. It's kind of like those once in a lifetime or I guess now twice in a lifetime sort of deals where you get to see these fish come up and make beds. Went from five beds to 15 beds to towards the end of the day about 50 beds. Today could be really the day when you catch those really, really big fish that are pushing up, that are pairing up. You get those females to come into bed. And you guys saw me catch one of those females, at very least one of those females yesterday, one of those really fat, thick fish coming in there to drop her eggs and spawn. And that's typically like a one day or two day window when those females push up and then um, they push back out. So the females kind of push in, push out really quick. The males will stay up there, guard bed, make bed, do a bunch of things, be up there for about a week, week and a half, two weeks depending. And uh, just a really cool process, really cool thing to see. So today, we're gonna be fishing these big flats, looking for spawners, looking for pre-spawners, maybe even some post-spawners that are already done, sort of pushing back off. Should be a lot of fun. Let's make it happen. Dude, we came up here yesterday and fish were literally swimming around making beds as we were up here. Like it started out with just 15, or just a handful. And then throughout the day, I mean, dude, they're everywhere now. These fish are still spooky. We've seen like three or four beds with fish just spook off them like real quick. We had to like glide a bait through the bed yesterday to get them to go. They didn't want to eat anything if it was just sitting in their bed. Gosh, he is hot, dude. That's what I just did. Yeah, and she, sp she spun on it. Yeah, that's the one that keeps roaming through here. Got her. That was a battle, dude. Good work, man. Dude, what a freaking sow. Look at the tail on that fish. <sighs> Look like a brick, dude. <laughs> freaking A. What a tank to start the absolute awesome epicness of this morning. Whew. Lord of mercy, that one made me nervous when he my fish. Little custom Ned rig, do it molds Midwest finesse, quarter ounce. Like a dang on peacock basket flying on that thing. I know. She's bumped around a couple times. Zeros. Four four eight boy. Four four eight. That was a battle for a beautiful fish. Bye baby. Hey, good work, dude. I glided it through, let it hit bottom, and she was already she already spun on it once. Yeah. And then what I did is I basically just hopped it. Yeah. Never hit bottom again. <laughs> never, 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 hit bottom. never hit bottom again. It was just, it was all rotten so. I was wondering why it was felt so light. Well. Yeah, when you lose contact, you just need to swing. Hooks at the furry. Mm-hmm. Did you guys almost lose a rod to a fish? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a bald eagle. That is. Bald eagle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> or at least they know I'm free. Oh, there's a bad. America! Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> I don't Rolling know. Up on that bad boy. I was like, let's just get on top of this bed. There's my fish that I lost yesterday. Huh? I said, there's that big one I lost yesterday. That's a good one, dude. 
It's a stick. Uh, I got it. Yeah. Look at that, dude. It's a thick one. It's a thick, dark, beautiful bass. She likes to eat my Ned Rig. Bye. Boys and girls, boys and girls, we are around spawning bass. There are fish everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I think this is the bet I caught that big one on, but I don't think this fish is that big. Um, yeah, I'm gonna net it. You just, you just wanna spin over and hand me? Thank you. Got it? Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a big fish. Yeah, it was a little bit bigger than I anticipated. <laughs> I didn't realize how big this fish was, dude. Guys, this is a big black mamba again. What a beautiful fish. Thank you. I am absolutely roasting. But boys and girls, we are already catching. Already catching bass. Keep this up. Boys and girls, today has been a magical day already. We already have 20 pounds and that's 10.53. There's another one on that right side of there. See it? Big. Can't tell. I think she's fresh. I think she's fresh. <laughs> Look at this one just chilling, like He's looking like, at it. What y'all doing down there? I was like, what's all this commotion for? Yeah. What's this guy doing? Why is he swimming so funny? Doesn't he know that cloud ain't gonna do nothing to him? That's a big one, dude. That's a really big one. Oh, there you go. That's a really big one. Ooh. Get him, Ben. Dude. That's a really big one, dude. Dude. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, God, man. Good job, man. Wow. She was not coming off, man. That hook absolutely pins them inside the mouth, boys and girls. I'm shaking. This is an old fish, boys and girls. You got to take care of these ones. You got to take care of all of them. But they're super vulnerable, so you don't want to keep them out too long. I'm shaking. Zeros? It's got to go five, right? Yeah, I mean, I would think. Yep. 5.49, bouncing over five and a half. First five and a half of the day, boys and girls. Is that a fiber? Five and a half. That's Ron. Look at how thick this fish's tail is. There she goes. Swimming off nice and healthy. I'm shaking. I am absolutely, positively shaking. Okay, my dudes, we're going over yonder on the Chattahoochee. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. But you'll see us and we'll be back. Good work, Thad. Old Thaddy is getting it done. Nut. Huh? Nut. Yeah. Good job, buddy. What a double. Here, you get yours. You get yours. No, you get mine. Or I get mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh. Take a picture of this. This might be the biggest double we've ever had. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got to take a picture. Oh my God, Ben. That's amazing, dude. Giant. Let me grab that scale. Wow, what a double. 
What a freaking double. Zeros. Oh, we doubled. 463. 463. Okay. No coal. It did. It did. Zeros. What is that? 460? 467. 467. <laughs> nine, nine and a half pounds. With two fish. Fish crump. All right, let's go. Thank you, fish. 2531. I got chills, dude. Dude, I, I can't. I mean, like, I'm just. I'm... Oh, those do not smell great. 2531. 25 pounds, 0. 0.31 pounds. <laughs> 25.31 pounds. <laughs> One of the most ridiculous, insane days of smallmouth fishing ever. One of the best day, days I've ever had bed fishing. Fish literally everywhere coming up cruising with Mr. Mr. Alex Rudd. All I'm throwing is just a little Ned rig. This is actually a little hand poured goby that my buddy um, Handmade Fishing made. If you guys want to check out all his stuff, he has an Instagram called Handmade Fishing. I'll leave it linked down in the description below. Really cool little goby imitator. A lot of these big bass are, are chasing gobies off bed. Then I'm using a little quarter ounce Do It Midwest Finesse Mold and uh, Gamagatsu 111 hook. That's one of the best hooks you can put in a net rig right there. Has an O'Shaughnessy bend. Keep those fish pinned. We're sweating. It's really hot. Gotta drink some water so we don't get dehydrated. Hopefully put a couple more on the boat before we call it quits and go home and have a steak. Dude, it is so hot out right now. It has to be like 90 some degrees. Oh. Here's a little close up look at that bait I'm throwing. Super cool little goby imitator. Put it on the Ned rig and that's what I've been flipping around a lot of these beds. Just really, really good at goby imitation. Gets those fish to go. Got your big bass and you're financially stable and you know you have a good job to go home to and you get paychecks every single week. Been thinking about that a lot lately. Good job, dude. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. That's a netter. That's a big one. That's a big one, dude. Oh, Holy. Look at that stuff. I glided that right in front of her face. She was like, um, I'm not going to let that swim through here. You are not allowed, Mr. Gobi. Zeros? Sorry. What's that one? Four and a half. Four and a half. Bye. Small one's 465. Can I just push this in there once? Can I just toss this in there once? I just want to see if she even turns. Ooh. See, that's what she's been doing now. Oh. I'm sorry. No, you're good, bro. Figure out how to net it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was just because it was something a little bit different, or it looks like a goby, or what it is. They like it, though, don't they? But it literally just slid right in front of her face, and she was immediate. Awesome. So wow. Look at her sides where she's been rubbing. Whoa. I've never seen that. That's crazy. You can see her sides where she's been up there mating and rubbing her he. Or... Wow. I'm not going to stress this one out too much. Just get it on the scale and put her back. Where's another one? <laughs> uh, up in that. Four sixty-seven. I gotta get this fish back. Wow, these fish are getting bigger. That was crazy too. I mean, you could see her sides where she'd been rubbing. I mean, did you see how she just reacted to that thing? I didn't know that it was gonna be the deal. But that's the deal. Yeah. I'm sorry for catching that fish, dude. 
These fish, as that sun comes out, are getting more aggressive. They're darting over and eating it and darting over and eating it. They're losing fish because of that. So we're going to keep playing around like this. It's currently 2.06. Get out of here on 3.30, 4 o'clock. Go home and make some good old food. See him chase that guy with. I think that's big. I think that's pretty big. Damn, dude, that is big. That's a big one, dude. It's another damn, damn cold. I mean, good. I mean, a good. That's a good. I think that's five. I think that's a fiver, dude. Oh, it's a fiver all day. Yeah, look at his tail. Got zeros. Got it. 573. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> it's an over a pound upgrade. 2639. God. <laughs> God bless. Oh. oh my God, man. When you guys go to a lot of fish, go during the spawn, give them time, get their bearing. Look, you can see your gills moving. Just take your time with her. These are big old fish, special fish. There she goes. Look at her fins go. Yeah. There she goes. Wow, that's a special fish right there. 25, 30 year old fish. Giant. The fish are hot. They're aggressive. They're moving. It's been a really, really, really magical, fun day. I mean, we thought we did something yesterday when we caught, what, 24, 24-ish pounds? We're at 26 and a half pounds. And I know that might not sound like a big difference, but the difference between 24 and 26 is a big difference because that's individual weight for five fish. So we have a 573, a 580, a 556, and then some 4.6 or 4.7 pound fish. Absolutely one of the most insane days. One of if not the most insane they've ever had actually looking at them. Um, all these fish are just really, really special creatures. So I just want to take a second and just encourage you guys. If you guys make the decision to come out and fish for these fish during the spawn, make sure you do keep them out of the water for as short a period of time as possible. Keep them off the hot carpet. Just kind of grab them out of the net, take a picture, take a weight, put them back because that's the way these fish are going to stay healthy. When you go to put those fish back, kind of give them time to kind of get reacclimated to the water so they can swim away really healthy. I mean, keep your resources as pristine as possible. And the best way to do that is by keeping these fish in the water um, for as long as it possibly can be. It's crazy throughout the day, you can sort of get a feel for how these fish are acting and Ooh, what they want to do, like which ones are aggressive, which ones don't really want it, which ones are cruising and not locked. You can really kind of tell the more beds you see, the more fish you see, whether or not they're going to bite like that one. I got it. Thank you, though. I mean, you could tell pretty much immediately that was a big one if um, they're going to end up biting. That's my fault. I just really didn't pay any attention. I think this is the one I lost. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I might as well. Or I got it. I got it. Absolutely choked on that thing, dude. Bless up. Bless up, you beautiful fish. Thank you. No, I was throwing a little goby on a net rig, like a fake goby on a net rig. And it had to, like, the only way I was getting them to go is if it glided in front of their face. Otherwise, they, like, for some reason, when I go to pull it through their bed, they don't want to do anything. They've really been, I mean, it looks easy, but it's been really tough. Like every single fish I caught, 
I'd flip it past the bed and like watch it glide through the bed. And when it was gliding, it would almost hit him in the nose and they'd just turn and hit it. Game over. Game over. Absolutely wrecking today with my best buddy, Mr. Alex Rudd. 26 pounds, 0.43. 26.43 pounds. Absolute mega bag. One of the most insane days of sight fishing I've ever, ever, ever done. Every single fish I saw today, every single fish I flipped to, got to watch him react, eat. Really, really special day, dude. Thank you. It's insane, man. It was one of the toughest five days leading up to this that I had ever really experienced, especially this time of year. I've had a really tough spring, water's really high, things are very much different than what they have been in the past, so it's been tough. Alex and I kept saying, one day away, one day away, one day away. Well, the past two days have been the days we've been looking for. But you guys didn't even see it. I'm not even going to make videos. It was super, super tough. But if you guys want to check out those videos from those tough days, Mr. Alex Rudd has made videos, caught some fish, caught some largemouth, caught some really good largemouth, yep. some pretty good smallmouth. We had a lot of fun. Dude, thank you for making the trip up. Absolutely. Bye -bye. It was uh, one of our tougher trips that we've ever had when he's been up here in May, but we absolutely made the last couple days worth it. The whole thing's always fun, and uh, just always better to share it with your big buddies, your best buddies, the dudes, the mans. But if you guys are not already, please do me a huge favor. Please go down, hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys don't know, my name is Benjamin Nowak. This is a 100% smallmouth-focused channel, so if you guys love smallmouth bass fishing, hit subscribe, give it a like. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care of tight lines. God bless. Pursue your passion. Yay! Yeah, yeah.